and with that I welcome you in the new year and again we are here in Cape Town. This time we do some different things. I will take you to several wine farms. So we are here in the Allée Bleu, which is a wine estate which was founded 1690 by a Dutch family, but since 1999 it's owned by a family called Dauphin. Sounds French to me, means actually dolphin. I hope they don't have dolphin on the menu. But what else they have on the menu is of course an excellent wine, which I'm holding here. That is the 2015 Pinotage, which is actually growing all the way around me here. Um, the grapes are a little bit hidden. Let's see if I get a good shot of that. But let's try first a shot of that natural and uh, nice red wine. So that's how you pour it actually. Not like they would do here. They always give you just a little sip to taste. This is how I like it. And now let's see the taste. And it's a very strong dark wine, a ruby color and you can taste berries and blackcurrant, cinnamon and a hint of licorice. Very much uh, I can uh, recommend this wine, Ali Bleu Pinotage 2015. I will link it down in the video description. One of the biggest fun things to do in this wine yard, and I assume it's also the thing drunk people would do here most, is to ring that bell. I don't know what it is here for, and I hope when I ring it, I don't need to pay around for all the people here, but let's just try if it works. So it's like a Notre Dame. A cheers to that bell. And here we are in Franschhoek again, and our first vineyard for the day is La Motte. It is a place which I wanted to visit since four years, on the day, four years, uh, because a lot of people recommended it to me. We tasted a couple of white wines, a couple of red wines. This is the Syrah of the place, which is, in my opinion, the best wine, the most complete uh, wine which they can offer. And it has a nice, fruity, deep, Plum smell. Let's have it. Let's have a taste. That's actually a wine, exactly as per my liking. So good that we came here. And this is the Spear wine estate, which was founded in 1692. It's just outside Stellenbosch and it's a beautiful location. It has a lot of little corners, like the house behind me, where you can have your event. For example, like a wedding. I'm here for a wedding, by the way. But it also has an amphitheater and very rich history. But of course, also they grow their own wines here which I'm really curious to try.
and this is the wine cellar of this beer estate it's even written here 1692 but if you ask me for me the room is a little bit too dry so i'm going to have a real wine now Morrison Vineyard in Franschhoek where I already enjoyed a couple of very good sparkling wines a couple of really good uh, red wines the Pinotage very rec recommendable but we are finishing here with a gin actually we didn't even have lunch yet it's insane but uh, we can recommend it because they only make 300 bottles of gin a year this is bottle 219 taking a sip of that one and it really tastes like a never-ending summer by the way South Africa is the only country in the world in my opinion where you can drink the gin straight you don't need to mix it with tonic which is great uh, we are actually coming all the way from Germany so these guys are coming from Germany Germany is well known for Riesling Yes. And ice wine mm -hmm. and sect as well. So these guys have become my close friends. Got that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the Glenwood wine estate which is hidden in this beautiful mountains it's not part of the mainstream and this one is known for its Shiraz which is here but also for its dessert wine which is here it's the first white dessert wine which I'm ever going to try and I'm doing that on camera on live TV first the Shiraz beautifully full-bodied wine and now the dessert wine, even though we didn't eat yet, but we have the dessert wine. The best one I ever tasted. Happiness, this is what Vrede and Lust stands for. And here we have one, it's the only Malbec, which all the vineyards, only this one makes a Malbec, which has a chocolatey note, which I like. It's like eating a piece of chocolate. But I think today here, I decide for the Chenin Blanc, which I'm going to take home. And here we have, what was the last one? We put Erasmus. The Burt Erasmus. Let's have a taste of that one as well. Excellent. 